lots of children. They come out of nowhere. It's wonderful. You know Jesus loves you, don't you? How do you know Jesus loves you? Go ahead. Okay. So you pray. Okay. All right. I got a little, little story for you guys today. There's a man, and his name, we're going to say, is Bobby. Bobby's been a builder for 50 years, okay? He's built homes all over the country. And he's got crews that just build and build and build. And he's got a builder that's worked for him. His name is Johnny. And he's worked for him for 30 years, putting together homes. And he's built big, beautiful homes. And nobody has ever had a problem with any home that Johnny's ever built. Just a straight up guy, does really good work, uses quality materials. But he told Bobby, he says, look, he says, I, I, I've done this for 30 years. He says, I've had enough. He says, I just want to retire. I want to get out, okay? So Bobby says, yeah, okay, I understand. He says, but can you just do me one more home? And Johnny says, I really don't want to. I really just want to get out. Well, he says, look, I says, I really appreciate all the service you've given me for 30 years. And he says, I'd just like you to build me this one more home. He says, I already got the plot. He says, the, the, the foundation's already set. All you got to do is build it up. So Johnny agreed. And Johnny kind of got in a hurry. You know, because... He just really didn't have his heart into it. So he got some inferior products because they were quicker to get in. And he just, you know, just didn't use the kind of stuff that he normally would use. And he put the house up very fast. He had the house up in a month. He called, he called um, Bobby and said, hey, look, the house is going to be done on Thursday. And he says, um, you know, I'd like to just turn it over to you and, and, and get out of here and go on with my vacation. You know, my permanent vacation. <laughs> so Bobby says, hey, look, he says, I'll, I'll be down there on Friday, okay? He says, just give me one more day, right? He says, okay. So Johnny meets Bobby on Friday. They're at the house. And Bobby's looking at the house. And he says, boy, okay. You know, he says, Johnny, he says, I want to tell you, he says, I really, really appreciate the 30 years of service that you've given to me, okay? And he hands him the keys, and he says, this is your house. <laughs> right? Think about that. For 30 years, this guy's put together solid, good homes, okay? The one house that he cuts all kinds of corners and doesn't build the way he should. This is the house that he's going to be living in. Right? What's the message there? What do you think? Does anything resonate in your mind about how to do your work? How should you always do your work? To the utmost of your ability, even when you don't feel like it. Right? You know, sometimes when you don't feel like praying, that's the most important time to pray. And you know what I've found? The times when you don't feel like praying and you get down there and you pray anyway, those are sometimes the very best times with the Lord. Because He blesses you mightily. Because you're fighting self. Self needs to be crucified. We have these evil hearts, the Bible says. That's what we have. And they have to be crucified. And when they are, Jesus is supreme. Amen. Okay. Would somebody like to pray? Would you like to pray? Come on over here. All right. Let's bow our head. My Jesus, it is a wonderful day at church today. And I hope we have a good day. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michaela. You guys can go back to your seats.